I think that's as well as I've ever seen you run a race. How did oh, you see it? Thank you. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, no, I thought it was a really competitive field, but I thought I thought I could come away with the win if I ran it really well. And and yeah, I just had to kind of run my own race. Um, I don't know what time it was. He did over the first 200, but I think it was pretty quick. And yeah, just ran my own thing. And when I got to the front of 200 to go, I thought I got to try and try and hold it and run as fast as I can. But I mean, yeah. you started off slowly, then you gradually moved up, and then you had an awful lot left. Yeah, well, I honestly, I honestly have no idea. Everybody at home will know how that race went better than I did. I just knew when I hit the front, I want to stay at the front. So, um, but no, I, I felt, I felt great. It's, this time of the season, it's a bit, it's a bit of an odd one because sometimes you can feel really good and, and then you run race and you're a bit flat. So, but no, I felt good today and excited for the next couple of races. You don't think you chose the wrong distance for Budapest? <laughs> no, no, this, the, the girls there are fast. Yeah, it's, um, I can run like that, but the rounds is, is a different story. The 100 meter, even just making the finals, very difficult. So. But it's exciting to have that ability over all the events. You need that 800 speed and 1500 as well. There's always an amazing atmosphere at Zurich. Yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. It's so nice to have, you know, full full stadium um, and like a, a big atmosphere like that. It creates a, it creates a lot of noise and it's really nice. Yeah. And you're going to Brussels next week? Yeah, Brussels 1500 and then closing out with Eugene 1500 as well. So yeah, a couple more left. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.